Hello and welcome back to Stationers. Now, I... Some of you may remember I put up a very quick airlock. This is essentially the same airlock. It's running on basically the same code. I've added in a bit of an LED and stuff, but... That's the time it takes to basically depressurize this airlock. And going back in the other way it takes... that long four seconds i believe now why am i showing you this again you ask it's not to do with an led surely well next door here i happen to have a new and improved airlock yeah i do so let's do a comparison and see well i mean is it going to be a direct comparison i don't know there'll be a little bit of a delay i guess in the the time it takes for the doors to close, so let's just do a direct comparison. If I press this button now, that is how quick we get in. Getting out, that quick. Now I'm going from 1 kPa, you can see there that door behind that side there, that just opened a little bit after. This is uh, probably the fastest airlock I can come up with. I don't know if anyone else can come up with the faster one, but uh, let's do that again. Press the button. Walk into 137 kPa, and there you saw the one that side go. And it got up to 125 kPa in there, which it'll balance itself out. I've got a few canisters over here putting in up to 150, nice and slowly. Um, yeah, so this one is... a little bit slower than that one. Okay, so... we're gonna say that if we press this one, it's, it should be faster than that one because of the, the tick delay between the networks, maybe? Let's see. Nope. That one definitely opened first, and if we press them again... Yep, this one's definitely faster in both directions. Now, how did we manage this? Well, you probably guessed it. It's actually kind of simple. Come on, up you come. So we've uh, doubled the number of intake vents and we have quadrupled the number of passive out vents and it's a very compact little design here. All of the wires are going up through the sides of the doors. You have to use composite doors, otherwise you won't get the wires in. They don't work with glass doors. The LED is stuck on to the side here with the circuit board. I've even got room for two tanks for maybe filling your oxygen. Air tank critical. And Air tank getting rid of your waste. Air tank critical. Maybe, something like that. I don't know, up to you. You could put a jetpack filler in there or whatever you fancy, go mad. Um, and it looks really clean and neat when you put all the the, the the paneling on. Sensor here and that connecting through the network quite easily. You can see there's only a, like, what, two? One, two, yeah, two frames. Apart from the pipes, which you can't really get away from, there's like two pipes worth of thing. Now, something I was looking at doing, um, was maybe seeing if another vent here speeds it up anymore. So I'm going to do a direct comparison again, I think. Active. Then. Now, the other thing you'll notice is this one only has one IC housing because I'm doing a bit of batch rating. In fact, it's so good that when I press this, it automatically sets it to the right mode. Now, when we press this button, how quick does it open this time? Okay, right, well, we'll see what that comparison says, but the other thing you can see is that these two are mirrored, so when you press one, the other one opens as well. Okay, a jetpack slow, I, I hear you. So... 
let's go and have a really quick look at the code if you're interested. I probably will put this one up on the workshop now. This code has been annotated a little bit more, so I, when I put it up, it'll be a little bit easier to read. So you've got two doors, obviously, an LED, a sensor, and a mirror. I could actually batch read the sensor and save another pin. You could add in a speaker, you could add in a diode, you could add in anything you like. It, 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 but the vents have now been batched right written. The volume pump, even though there's only one, is batch written. The display is there for testing purposes. I'm going to have to put some... It shouldn't matter about device not set because it's batch written. So anyway, that's fine. So basically, the setup will close all the doors and vents any atmosphere. So shuts the doors, puts the setting in the right setting, uh, puts the, the, all the vents into in mode, turns them on, puts the LED into red, just so you know it's going through its startup phase. And then once it gets past all of that, it'll wait until the pressure's down to none. It'll open up the outer door, um, first closes the inner door, then waits for the inner door to close, then opens up the valve. And this, this, is, the, this is the magic. This is the absolute magic of having four passive vents and a long pipe network. I'll show you the pipe network in a moment. We have the valve volume, the valve P out, doesn't matter what it's called, it's the valve. It comes on, it yields, goes off, yield again. Now this yield is actually really important. If you just do this yield, the game can't update the, 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 the frame atmospherics quick enough so you get kind of like a double blast it starts there's a rush in towards the frame from outside or inside in this case and then there's a blast out from inside the airlock so you have to yield on the second one in order to get the the pressure to be equalized within the frame before the door opens then we have um It'll load into R11 the pressure. It'll say it, that's just to, for testing purposes. Uh, you don't have to worry about having that unless you're going through a testing phase with it and you just want to see what the pressure is when you open the door compared to what you're opening it to. Anyway, then it opens the outer door, sets the LED to green. Then we have a... Um, doors will wait for input from the keyboard door outer door inner and then this is also where the mirror comes in now if we're gonna load from whatever mirrors set as so at the moment as you saw i done ic chips and if it becomes equal to one then it'll jump two lines of code so it, it just forgets about going back to wait outer because that's been done and if R zero happens to be pressed as well, then it will, you know, it'll it'll carry on. So we'll then set the uh, the LED to yellow, just because red's been used once already. Yellow is going one way, and orange is going the other way, just so there's some differential between the two. Then it will basically save to the mirrors setting one. So obviously, whatever the mirror chip or device you're using will look for that one and it'll then write that one into its code when it's in its wait wait um loop down here somewhere yep mirror setting if it's equal to hmm and that was me testing something for That was me testing something for this mirror chip that I was using. Mm. Maybe that's where it was going so wrong. Maybe I shouldn't give up on my dreams. Um, jump two lines of mirror equals one. Jump two lines of mirror equals two. Yes, that's exactly what I had written there. And then I put in some exclamations and questions just because I was testing things, I think. 
Anyway, back. It's pretty much the same as before, except for we've now got this wait for the mirror setting and if and then update your own setting as well. Uh, close the outer, wait for the doors to close fully, vent the atmosphere. What's the, the waiting for the, for the door to vent? Like, uh, close, sorry. And then this is the one for the, for the vent and wait for the vent. And then this one duh, opens the inner door, uh, save the vents off, opens the inner door, puts the color to green. Then it goes into the wait inner, and obviously the mirror is part of that wait now. And then um, it'll put the LED to orange, and um, yeah, away you go. Now, in multiplayer, obviously, it might be a bit annoying to have two doors open at the same time, but clearly in single player, if you've got one room with two doors, it's kind of annoying to. See, there's a big difference there to have to um, worry about doors being in pattern. So another thing I've done here is in the beginning setup phase, it puts this to state zero. So if you're just loading into things, oh, it's not worked that way. OK, that's not worked very well because of the mirror. It just went straight to copying the other one. OK, that's good to know it was untested so same again it'll open to the outer first because that's what it's set to do and then it'll read the mirror and go oh right okay so i could branch if it was zero um to not do that but okay maybe i will i i don't know um but anyway yeah this is my new high speed airlock Okay, I just wanted to go through the pipe network quickly in this one, and okay, we can clearly see that there's a separation between this network and this network, but this network isn't just pipes you see here, no, no, no. Uh, we can get outside. Oh, banking up. No, 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 this pipe comes here, and I've made like a big pipe network as small as I can. This actually connects up to the same pipe network as the other airlock in there. Uh, just for some continuity, and the bigger the pipe network, the better, right? Surely, I, I don't know ins and outs and facts about all of these things, but I believe that uh, somewhere along my travels, I've, I've picked up the notion that having a long pipe network for things like vents can make everything a bit faster. So anyway, that's just where I got with this test. Okay, so in this code there is actually space for a mirror. Now you can mirror another IC directly with, and it displays its setting there, as you can see. Or, in this setup, I'm running three doors, all at the same time. And you open one, or close one, and they all do the same thing. Just like that. And thank you very much to Elmo for this. He, he's a bit of a genius when it comes to, to programming in this game. We basically have a, one actual mirror. I, why I didn't think of a mirror when it was I was calling them mirror, I don't know. And running into a single memory. So when we pierce this, it updates the memory. The, everything else reads the memory and it fits neatly into the code I already had. So that's absolute genius. And um, thank you very much to Elmo for, for that one. Now, what we could also do in theory, and this might be good for multiplayer servers, is if you wanted to, you could, let's say, switch the doors around. So instead of door inner, you'd have inside. So now when we start her up, now this is going to be a bit weird because we're going to keep losing pressure. This is a one way only. Uh, right. You'd have to kind of change around the, the trigger and the direction for the, 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 the pumps to come on. Uh, let me see if I can do that quickly now. 
you know, for the sake of this setup, I think it's actually easier to branch equal to flipping when the flip is the opposite one. And then we want to move flip to one rather than two and move flip to two rather than one for the sake of this. So let's pop that back in, pop these back to so now hopefully this little this will be kind of in reverse, so Yep, that's worked. So now when we press this one, it still does all the pressurization that it should do. Yep, perfect, perfect. Okay, cool. And then, bada bing, bada boom. There we go. Perfectly synced. I love it. Thanks, Elmo. And uh, I hope this helps with your bases. Okay, so I'm going to rebuild this on my Venus playthrough now and do a direct comparison. How much time am I going to save every time I use this airlock now? So let's go on to now. Okay, that's how long it was taking. And in a moment, we'll have the new one. Okay, so this has translated into less pressure in the pipes. I've crammed in, I've still got the LED. I've even put in a APC now. Still got four vents passive, but we've now got three, six, seven, eight, nine active vents. Um, you'd have to excuse a little bit of uh, damage to everything. The pressure that was in the pipes was a little bit too much for them. And everything caught fire on me. Um, I wonder if duct tape will fix that. No, no, duct tape will not fix that. Oh well. Anywho, um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, everything's working. Um, this is my new design. I managed to squeeze in a lot more than, than before. So I'm just going to close it all up now, make it look nice and pointy. Hey, look how clean that looks now. There is. And okay, here we go. Let's do the test. How long does it take now? And to get back in. Oh, hold on. I'm I'm short at least one vent there. Event. Three, two, one. Okay. Okay, and I, I couldn't just not be scientific about this and increase the pipe length and see if that makes a difference now. So we'll do it a couple of times just to pressurize the system. Okay, and out. Yeah, we need to put a little bit more in there. I can hear the whooshies coming in. So... Don't want to put too much, though, because it will just um, fry everything in here, so... Right, and now... That's a bit more reasonable. Do a little bit more, maybe. Okay, so three, two, one, go. No, I said three, two, one, go. Okay, I wonder if that made a difference. It feels faster. And three, two, one, go. Now that shouldn't change. It's all done on time. In fact, thinking about it, is there a way I can... Hmm, I am so glad I checked, and I knew damn well there was something slow about this. I knew it. I just knew it. 
in the copying or in the mess of my test world, I somehow, somehow didn't save this little change here. I've obviously got a chip somewhere that had the wrong code on it, and I've copied that one instead of the one from the airlock. I've, I copied airlock one instead of airlock two's code, like a doofus. <laughs> Uh, at least I got the device not set stuff in, which is good. Um, okay, so that should actually improve it now. Every good engineer always double checks their work. Something I've learned from from a few YouTubers and something I've learned from actual trial and error, like getting it wrong and going, why is this wrong? Okay, I should have checked this. Now, let's see how fast we can get this time. Because this one was done completely on climbing rather than pipe network like we can probably get the input pipe network longer and get the whole getting in down to maybe even two sec three seconds maybe but in terms of going out well uh that's set on time so i'm gonna have to check the footage but i'm pressing right about now Well, I'll have to see how much that was. Um, I wonder if I can get it down anymore. This has lost some... Custo... Um, yeah, probably going to need a bit of Feng Shui because it's going to be faster. It's still a pretty fast airlock for Venus. Yeah, that's explosive compression there. Um... Them few wishies, not going to make any odds. Not to anyone. Well, I don't think so anyway. Let's see if we can get it perfectly smooth. I should put a display up and see what the display says. Have I got a spare console in my backpack? I don't. Meh. Look at that. Perfect. If anything, I think some had to escape. Oh, okay, perfect. Well design, this is going to save me. a few seconds on the way in one second on the way out now i'm gonna so at the end of the day your violet your mileage to how many seconds it's gonna save you may vary it might save you a ton of seconds it might save you like me maybe from my previous design i think two or three each each every two presses maybe four seconds it'll save me but i'm, I'm i've added a little counter into the the set batch save batch um so every time you press the button it'll just increase the counter number so you can keep an eye on how many times you use this airlock and how much time you actually save yourself because for my airlock if i was using this particular design right here on venus now you have to excuse the wishes i haven't pressurized this pipe in here or extended it around the other pipe or anything so um yeah that's not working as intended that's why the pressure's dropping but let's say i used it 20 times and i saved ooh, four seconds per time four times 20 20 40 60 80 that's 80 seconds 60 which is a minute and a half which doesn't sound like a lot but when you consider that you're going to use an airlock in a 300 day playthrough you might use it more than two or three times a day but let's say on average just twice a day on average and 300 days that's 600 times 600 times let's say five 24 30 uh 28 no yeah 28 2800 seconds divided by 60 is actually a lot of time yeah, now we're looking at like 45 minutes worth of time across a whole playthrough. Which is definitely uh, not to be sniffed at. That's for like having, I think, four seconds, five seconds saved per, per traverse of the airlock. So it all adds up in the end. It all adds up in the end. Anyway, 
I um, I hope you enjoy the showcase. The workshop link should be in the description, and vice versa. The link to this video will be in the workshop probably. And um, yeah, again, if you can if you can make this any faster or any better, please do link me up and in the comments and and show me and show the rest of the world because I'm pretty proud of this. But I'm not going to say that there's no way it could be improved. Like, there's always a way with it for it to be improved. And I'm talking without mods, preferably, so... Anyway, thank you for joining me, and I'll catch you in the next one, maybe. Bye for now.